My name is Devin Peters and I am a curator and exhibiting in the show at the Gerald Peters Gallery which is entitled Levels of Inquiry, Unknown, Emerging and Mature. So we have a group of artists who are in different stages of their career, most of which are emerging but are of a wide variety of ages. It's an honor, you know, it's an honor for pretty much any artist in this day and age to show in this gallery and for this group of people to be able to show here has been great for a lot of artists. It's been a gallery that has set the standard in Santa Fe for many years and um, there hasn't been many galleries in Santa Fe that support emerging artists and we had our first show three years ago which was the Future of Fine Arts and until then there were no galleries supporting local artists and there was a big burst of local artists being supported by local galleries, which is a relatively new thing in uh, Santa Fe. An emerging artist is an artist that is at the beginning of their career, has not showed in many galleries, has not sold a lot of their work, but is highly talented. And that's what we're looking for is artists who have not been exposed to the world and who have a lot of skill and talent. Coming back here to Santa Fe, I've been looking at the sky a lot. You can see like there's a lot of sky light color qualities. It's been a pretty big inspiration. And um, but yeah, just like more, I think the more that I'm sort of opening my eyes to like what the actual color is in the natural world and the world around me, it's like where that, that's really informing it and sort of responding, like, you know, having a, having a dialogue with color, with nature, I guess you could say. I mean, if you sort of look at the, you know, color as a sort of a form of expression that nature is using as well, that's sort of the, 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 the kind of sentiment that I like to respond with. So. I usually start by mixing one color and add and subtract from that one color to make all the colors for my paintings. So they're constantly evolving and changing as I paint. The best feeling is when I wake up the next day and uh, get to see the paintings for real. And uh, you know, that gives me a, you know, best drug ever. There will never be the same adrenaline rush as working on the street. And working as working in a show is, you know, it's very controlled. There's no risk. Um, and so the opening, you know, I may get a little bit of the same anxiety as, you know, painting on the street. But that's just having your artwork out there to be judged by a group of people. I mean vandalizing private and public property. <laughs>
photographically and everything that I've done, uh, I, I work at the photo center at the Evergreen State College and I've been teaching and doing workshops and um, I learned a lot about the chemistry and the science of photography and that has really led me to start bending and breaking rules with photography. So this is all done with film and uh, chemistry. So um, they're black and white photographs that are hand colored and I use multiple exposures and mix my own chemicals. I, I wish I could paint and so I've been painting the chemicals onto the photographs with paint brushes which is part of the reason why they look painterly. I, I wouldn't say that there are too many artists that I've been inspired by for this. Um, it's mostly just been my own puzzle solving and trying to put things together. I started painting in the late 80s, showed in Germany a little bit, had my own shows, and Santa Fe was just a different level of inspiration. Well, I consider my work mostly mixed media because I use so many different layers, but also I'd like to use what I call post-consumer materials, things, everyday things like cut open boxes, and my latest body is also using wool and CD cases, and then I treat them like canvas and build them up with different medias and try to create a certain effect, and it's often about color, the impact about color color and I like people to get interested in the piece like what is it what is it made of and yeah art is about stimulating people orange is said to be the color of courage a lot of monks were orange so and it's also a stimulating color a mixture of yellow and red so and I like that I like people to engage with a certain color and orange is a color you can't really avoid you either like it or you don't like it it, it grabs your attention and so far a lot of people like it and admire it so which is nice for me to hear Honestly, strictly between us, I used a lot of fake blood in these paintings. <laughs> you know, you got like that that uh, that like blowout Halloween sale when everything's going for cheap. I went and just got like a gang of fake blood and just, you know, I was interested to see what I could do with it. So uh, mixed media to say the least, you know. But I'll use anything, man. Uh, hair dye, shoe dye, acrylic, oil. Um, Music notes, whatever I can get my hands on. It's fun, you know, like, I like, I like realism, but I find abstract just less limiting. It's more fun. It's more fun. And what inspired this piece? Um, honestly, uh, my father just recently passed away, uh, right around the time that I was doing these pieces. And he, uh, he was a musician also, as well as an artist, one of the best painters I've ever known. And um, I was, you know, painting these when I was kind of uh, reminiscing on my father and going through all that. So, uh, so everything kind of came out a little, a little dark, I guess, right? But, um, but I feel like he's in there. I feel like I caught, I feel like I caught some of his vibe there, you know. I wish he was here. I think he'd like him. If I was a collector, or if I had the money to be a collector, I would uh, buy one of his paintings straight away. But there's also other paintings in here which I found very intriguing, very fascinating. There's some. It's wonderful to see young artists displayed in a gallery of this caliber. I think it's marvelous. They're very well put together. So what, what brings you to the show tonight? Well, I was actually just curious because the title itself is pretty profound. So I wanted to see what it had to present and see if it really was the future of fine art. So far, my eyes are really pleased. All the paintings and pictures are pretty interesting and I'm just moving my way around really slowly because I'm pretty captured by most of them. I'd say it's, it's, it's mostly a derivative of the emotion in the world right now. And it's, uh, it's just um, kind of a, a representation of, of the way I feel about the general populace right now. I find my inspiration from a lot of things. Uh, Francis Bacon is one of my favorite, favorite artists, um, so I look to him a lot. Um, and I also, all of this is from the imagination, so there's no reference in this at all. I'm not, I'm not using any photo stock or anything like that. This is a, uh, a gouache uh, and graphite piece. Um, all of these, all of these paintings are uh, were done in one day, and it's about stop being precious with your art and get into kind of like a Zen mode with it. I think the Santa Fe art scene in Santa Fe is very complex and there's a lot of galleries 
showing mediocre art, and there's a lot of artists that are phenomenal that are not being represented. And it would be great if a lot more galleries would recognize the local artists with phenomenal amounts of talent. Um, I think it's the power in his strokes. <laughs> Brush strokes, he means. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>